Hello everybody and welcome to this week's video. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, thank you for joining me on these weekly videos where I talk about all of the things that I've managed to do this week in the Inkscape project. Before we get into the bug fixes and the feature that I've managed to do this week, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, it really is thanks to the direct support from users that allows me to spend time on Inkscape. Uh, without your support, I simply just wouldn't have the paid time to work on the things that are important to you all. Um, so thank you so much. Okay, so let's get into the uh, situation. The first thing is, following on from last week when we were talking about the uh, color swatches and ICC pro profiles, um, the changes actually dug out a whole bunch of historical bugs and so I was fixing and I ended up ha having to refactor one of the core components called SP color in order to stabilize essentially how Inkscape saves the ICC profile along with the RGB color that it uses to render it to the screen. Um, the refactoring means that saving these ICC profiles along with the color should be more stable. The upshot is that it ends up with the with a particular bug where when you're changing the ICC pro profile, it would sometimes just disappear before, like it would just vanish and turn into an OGB color. Uh, Naughty Inkscape shouldn't be deleting data on, on you, but that is fixed thanks to all that refactoring. Um, I managed to fix a bug in the PDF export, which is within the crop to objects. If we you were using a um, clone or text on path and those clones or ob objects, the original objects were off the page and you tried to export those pages to PDF or SVG using the export dialog, you would get a crash. Uh, I confirmed that in Inkscape 1.2 1, 1 so I know that it's there um, but it's probable that it hasn't been reported because people tend not to use the export dialog yet for PDF or SVG, mostly for PNG, which makes sense. Um, but that is fixed, and we've worked in some extra uh, code help there too. Um, let's get into the feature this week. So I had a uh, request from a couple of designers actually, but uh, Chris R Rogers specifically point pointed me in the direction of trying to improve the export dialogues uh, export PDF fun functionality. He's been asking for this particular one for a while. Um, and it's the ability to export just some of a PDF's pages. Um, sorry, some of the SVG pages as a PDF. It's the right way around. Uh, instead of all, all of them. And uh, in order to do this, I had to redesign the export and di dialogue so that it had checkboxes instead of options and um, reduce some of the assumptions the code makes because as we've said before in some of these videos, when code makes assumptions, it really makes it hard to change what the code can do. And in this particular case, it really did make an assumption that you were essentially just exporting the whole thing. Um, but it does work. You can select different pages to export. I think there's still a bug in the single paged mode. I think I've broken that by accident. Um, but I think the feature is looking pretty good. And in fact, Chris has sent me in a nice video showing off his use of the feat feature because he's actually been hel helping test it. Um, take it away, Chris. Hey, everybody. C. Rogers here. And uh, looks like today we've got something quite interesting from Doc. Apparently, we can now choose the pages that we want in our multi-page documents. It's a feature that I'm really excited about um, because I do multi-page documents in Inkscape all the time now. So so we've got this branding book that I've made from a, for a scale in Inkscape. Um, lots of good stuff in here, but uh, I'm still adding things to it, like um, this page here isn't finished, so I'd like to export this stuff so that they can use it um, and then finish this later. Uh, so it'll be nice not to have to erase this. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, we'll go to the Export tab. And he says it's in single file. Yeah, this is a PNG export, so it'll export a single page PNG because PNG doesn't support multiple pages. But if we go to the PDF, ah, yes, right. We've got checkboxes <laughs> instead of radio buttons. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, so 
our last page here, the LinkedIn page is this one, page nine. Uh, now if we export that, uh, drawing exported, actually that was pretty fast. All right, so let's see how that turned out. Branding super template. PDF export. Yep. Oh, looking good with all the nice vector graphics there. Yep, yep, yep. And we should not see a LinkedIn page at the end. It works. This is excellent. <laughs> I'm so excited. Very, very nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> So uh, as you can see, we've been pretty busy here, but let's have a look at some of the other f features and fixes that other, other Inkscape volunteers and developers have managed to do this week. Um, let's start off with Javier, who has been f fixing uh, convert to clones, uh, sorry, convert to curves for clones in live path effects. That's a very complicated bug. PBS has fixed uh, some of the sensitivity and some of the font testing. Uh, which is great. He's also been doing some other stuff, but it, it's too nerdy. Uh, Max Gaukler, Gaukler? Uh, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your, your name, uh, fixes some of the win Windows builds is issues. Uh, Windows build support help is always, always welcome. Um, Nathan Lee fixed the WPG and VSD uh, import si sizes. The Inkscape was incorrectly si sizing them compared to other pro programs. Um, Nathan Lee is also... Uh, taking a break from Inkscape, and I want to give a big shout out and a big thank thank you to him for all of his help with all of the bug tra tracking, testing, merge requests, testing fixes. Um, he has just been an absolute trooper of support, and uh, I don't know how we're going to replace him. I tell, tell you, pro projects like Inkscape at this scale really need people who are good librarians, uh, who can really just file everything and keep everything organized. Um, Rene has been doing refactoring on the macOS packaging, making sure that it's ready for the release. And uh, Lazure, I want to give a shout out, is helping organize some of the materials for the Vectors team who are going to be doing a 20-year special uh, later in the year. And so he's been just essentially doing lots of work to find old materials. Um, Inkscape's 20-year is this year, but it's later in the year. Okay. So thank you for jo joining me for this week's video. And um, I think I'll see you all next week. Somebody said that they w wanted to see more birds outside. I've tried to position the camera so that you can see out of the window, but uh, it's, been, it's been snowing. So I don't think there's been any birds, but next week. <laughs>